Pisces, hi. All right, let's get into your reading. Peek at your person. Um, starting off with Passion Ignited and Temptation. So a lot of attraction, a lot of temptation here. Uh, could be a little bit toxic as well. It is the devil energy. We also have authority. I feel like your person does have a little bit of like an ego or likes to get attention. They could be an authority figure. It could be a boss, manager, entrepreneur, CEO, business owner, something like that. Um, I also have obstacles and challenges, suffering in silence. And then we have choose wisely and moving on. <laughs> Pisces, I don't know what it is with you guys, if it's because you're like the elder of the Zodiac, but I feel like there's always like, it's tough energy. I just want like good, smooth <laughs> readings for you guys but I feel like there's always something you know um all right let's get into it I'm gonna start off with your person's current energy current situation keep in mind it is a general reading so when I say your person's energy it could be yours it could be flip-flopped and reverse same to you cross watcher all right so place it where you see fit also if you're feeling the vibe and want to be part of the tribe please click subscribe and also hit that like button to help me get these videos circulated I appreciate it all right, starting off with heartache, pain, disappointment. Ace of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Why is this person heartbroken and hurting? Did you leave them? Did Were you the one that chose different and moved on here? I feel like this person is holding on to you. Maybe you just had enough. Maybe they were toxic. Maybe they didn't treat you good and you felt it was time for you to go. I'm hearing that song by Alicia Keys, Fallen. Keep on falling in and out, love over you. That song, like in and out, was this like an in and out connection? I feel like they tried to offer you stability, but it was small. It was like a small token of stability. You could live at a distance from this person, so maybe that's why. They could only offer you something small for some of you. Let's see. You may know them from your childhood or from the past. You may have children together. Or they were just acting like a child. I don't know. They have a lot of stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, overthinking, and also drama, arguments, disputes. Regret came in reverse, though. So what's that? Juggling? Giving to two? So this person... Oh, that's why. There was temptation here. Could be a Libra that got in the way and created a tower. Yeah, I feel like they were juggling. It wasn't equal give and take or balance here was off. Let's see. I'm going to go into what got in the way or what's blocking this connection. That'll tell me some more. What got in the way of this or what's blocking this connection between Pisces and their person. We have Capricorn. Strength in reverse. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles. So, so far I have water, air, and earth that came out. Could be any sign though, all right? It's a general reading. All right, somebody was juggling. Somebody was juggling, staying stuck in choppy waters. Um, I feel like there's something with ego. I feel like somebody here is like really insecure and kind of overcompensated and acted like they were the emperor when really they probably weren't. I do have heartache, pain, disappointment again and feeling stuck. Now I have Leo, so now I have fire. All right, what else? What else got in the way of this? Stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, tem uh, temperance. Not going with the flow, not being patient, something with timing being off. Someone, I feel like somebody doesn't know exactly what they want. Again, something maybe with distance. Or somebody needs to close out a cycle somewhere. Waiting, again. 
waiting. So impatient, impatient. Somebody's getting very impatient here. I feel like it's you. I feel like you're getting impatient because I feel like this person like comes and goes or is in and out and you're like falling in love and then falling out of love and then falling in love and falling out of love. Like that song, you know? Um, I'm hearing it came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> is that how it started? Did you work together? Was it a workplace romance or something? Something unexpected? Yeah, look, something unexpected. So is this person like married or in another commitment? Or are they just a player? The only thing I'm getting that is a blockage is this uh, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, those are my like long-term commitment, married, potentially married um, couple. Like water is my emotionally attached a couple, air is my separated, on a break, divorced, whatever couple, and fire is my two single, very attracted to each other couple, you know? So it could tell me that they were in a commitment with somebody or they just got out of a commitment with somebody and started seeing you and not sure if they want to settle down or not. So let's see, how do they feel about you, Pisces? How do they feel? I'm hearing, uh, now I'm hearing you too, with or without you. Like, I can't live with or without you. It's like a very in and out, in and out energy. The moon, unknown. See, if they don't even know how they feel, like how are they expecting you to stick around? How do they feel? How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel? Conflicted, blocked. How do they feel about Pisces? So commitment, leveling up, house, home. Were you giving them like an ultimatum? Like you need to be with me or you need to leave. They know you're not confused. So that's the thing. They know that you know what you want. You want them. You want this. They know that. How else do they feel? So there's that regret. So why were they not regretting something up there? The world keeps coming out. The world could be distance, living at a distance. It could be travel. It could also be just being at a distance from each other emotionally. Or it could be closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, like turning the page, an end of a chapter to start a new chapter. We do have reconciliation here. So I feel like this person does want to start a new chapter with you. They see you as very independent. They're juggling the past though. I see, or maybe they feel like you're juggling the past. It can be flipped, but I'm gonna stick with them to make it easy here. Somebody's juggling the past. A water sign again, temptation. Control, emotionally abusive. Was somebody emotionally abusive? Heartache, pain, disappointment. Gosh, some kind of truth, clarity, wish fulfillment. I feel like this person, yeah, and the lovers, this person's realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. I feel like maybe they were juggling you. They could have been emotionally abusive. Playing with your emotions. They could have been lying to you, putting in you in third party situations. You could have been doing it to them. It could be reversed. But again, I'm sticking with them doing this to you. And then feeling like abandoned, left out in the cold, left hanging. All right, what is this person going to do? What are their next action steps, intentions? What are they going to do? Pisces. Stuck. With a Capricorn. Again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Empress. They're stuck. 
with baby mama, baby daddy, whatever you want to call it. They're stuck. What an emotional roller coaster, huh? I'm hearing Def Leppard bringing on the heartache or heartbreak. Walking away. So they want to walk away from this other person. They want, they want to walk away from them. Want and do are two different things. Putting in work and effort for victory and success. Towards who, though? <clears throat> An offer of stability. A small little offer. A little token. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? To reignite this flame. Got a lot of pages. There could be an age difference between the two of you. Doesn't have to be. I'm just throwing it out there. They don't want to hurt you, but they know they have. So, like, their intention isn't to hurt you. They're not doing this on purpose. Um, to a to a certain degree, <laughs> to a certain degree, because if their intentions are to do this, why haven't they? You know what I mean? I feel like they're playing with your emotions here a lot of it, not a little bit, a lot. Their intuition is telling them to go towards you. Feeling blocked. They feel like there's a lot of obstacles and challenges in their way. Uh, they could hire an attorney or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So their intention is to walk away from whatever that situation is and come towards you. They feel like you're there's a strong bond here. But the thing is, their intentions are. But are they gonna? Because they're feeling stuck, remember. Like they want to walk away, but they're feeling stuck. So is this just gonna continue here? What's gonna happen? Are they actually going to come towards Pisces. They're still holding back or holding on. What are they doing? Temperance. Patience. You're getting impatient. They're trying to have you be patient. A change in perspective. Pisces. Oh. They're still blocked. They're trying to get single. They're trying to be solo. And that's their wish. Right now they're breadcrumbing. They're giving to two until this cycle closes out. Until this chapter ends. They are trying to find the strength to do it. But again, it's trying, trying, trying. They're stressed. I do see them moving towards you, but again, I don't see it happening tomorrow. I don't see it happening right away. I'll see if I can get a time frame, but keep in mind it's a general reading and time is fluid and we all have free will. So this is just kind of a guesstimate. It's not a personal reading. See, seven months. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't feel like it's right now. I feel like they're trying, but it's not ready yet. So what are you going to do while they're trying? What is Pisces going to do? Backstab, betrayal, painful ending. You're going to end it. You're going to walk away, which is probably the right thing to do. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but it could light a fire under their butt to get them moving. 
but I feel like you feel betrayed. You feel lied to. There's strong Aquarius energy. Either you're dealing with an air sign. Yeah, I see no Gemini energy. I think you're ending it right now. It hurts. It hurts. Ooh, you're going to be single and date. You have a Taurus or an earth sign coming towards you. <laughs> so they're trying to leave potentially an earth sign and you have an earth sign coming towards you. You have a decision to make. Yep. You're walking away for now. For now, you're walking away. And you're just going to have fun. Go out, date, have fun, meet new people. There's a chance that you might come back around and reconcile with this person down the road. Because I feel like they really do want to be with you. But you, you're at that point where I just can't keep myself stuck. I can't keep myself stuck because you're stuck. That's not fair, you know? So I feel like you are going to put yourself back out there. All right, we have fated meeting, meant to be, destiny, predetermined encounter, legal matters. Yeah, divorce, right? Justice, divorce, balance, judgment, single, alone, isolated, lonely, guarded. But also, I feel like you're just going to be single, ready to mingle out there. You know, you're just, you're going to do you for a little bit. Soulmate, but that's why this is so hard. Twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. That's why it's so hard for both of you. I mean, I'm not seeing your person being super happy. You know, they definitely don't want to be without you. We have fear, afraid, uneasy, suspicion, scared, anxiety. Yeah, that's this that kept coming out. Your person is highly stressed and afraid. You probably are too. All right, wedding and home, marriage forever, the union, the one, uh, home, comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. And then we have snake, deception, shady, temptation, enemy. Your person could be connected to this controlling person, toxic person. And that's also could be why it's so hard. And it could also be why they're afraid to leave. If that person's like, gaslighting or controlling or if they have assets house home money finances are all commingled with the other person all right stay optimistic positive thinking and faith will bring romance into your life and be present you will attract love by enjoying your life as it is wherever you are be all there i do have relationship here i kind of want to put that out there um commitment partner boyfriend girlfriend so i do feel this is going to turn into a relationship look ex-lover to new lover all right soulmate again yes this person is your soulmate your connection is sacred uh beware of codependency addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life that could also be that toxicity letting go Stay optimistic and be optimistic came out. Magnetic uh, uh, connection. There is a very strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person. So letting go. If someone leaves you confused more, more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you and focus on what you want to attract in this relationship, not what you fear will happen. No one compares, no matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, sorry, I need glasses, so it's hard for me to see. No one compares, no matter how many people I've met and experiences I've had, and they also messed up on their, their words, there is no one who compares to you. <laughs> they put I instead of I've. Uh... Not the right time. I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time and energy for a relationship. That could be you. I feel like you are exhausted. I feel like you are just kind of like, I need a, I need a, a break. I'm hearing a heart in my heart. That song, heart in my heart. 
All right, you're so special. You're truly divine. I've never felt energy like yours before, and I can't get enough and feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore, and it's easier to just stay in silence. Oh, you could have cut them off. All right, let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right, we have D-L-C-Y-X-S-Q-U-N-I-V-B. I'm seeing a lot flipped up at me. I'm just going to shout them out real quick. M-O-J-K-W-Z, if those apply to you. But D-L-C-Y-S-X-Q-U-I-N-V-B. All right, let's get some numbers. Could be a birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be an angel number. Could be an age. Place it where you see fit. Uh, we have 3, 9, 12, 12. Did I mention before I'm seeing 11, 11, and 4, 4, and 9, 9? So, all right, so 12, 12, 5. So, 3, 5, 9, 12, 12, 12. So, March... <laughs> Uh, May, September, and December could be like 35, 39, 95, 93. Play around with them. All right. Zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placement in their chart. Uh, something could happen during that season, like Pisces season, for instance. We have Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, and Virgo. Again, could be any sign. I did see Leo show up. Aquarius definitely showed up. Scorpio showed up. Um, Gemini. Could be anybody, you guys. It's a general reading, but place it where you see fit. All right, Pisces, sending love and light. Take care.